I asked people around the world what their best piece of financial and personal advice was, and here's what I found. That's a sick setup. Thank you. I'm asking people uh, to give me their best financial advice going into 2023. I mean, I'm only 12, so I don't know if I can help hey, you Hey, it, it doesn't matter. That's, that's what I want to hear, you know, people who are 12 years old. Just keep are... investing. Yeah, there you go. Just try your hardest. I like it, man. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, I got a question. Yeah. What? What's your best piece of financial advice going into 2023? I don't know, man. I'm, I'm not the. I'm not at the right age. <laughs> Dude, I just I just interviewed a 12 year old. But like, what's like the what's like the smartest thing you've heard? Um, save it. Hey, we'll take it, man. Thanks. <laughs> Hello, bro. Hey, what's up, man? I got a I question you. for you. Best piece of financial advice is going into 2023. What's something you can share? <laughs> Bro was stumped. <laughs> Bro was stumped. I'm literally looking for the most simple pieces of advice from average people. Hey, bro. Hello. Hey, hey what's up? <laughs> what could you guys recommend someone do with their money going into 2023 to help them make them more financially successful? Stocks. Stocks? All right. All right. That's yeah. good. Anything else? You could go with the sneaker reselling also. Sneaker reselling. Hey, and I'm asking people what their uh, best piece of a financial advice is. So what advice can you give people? Be a stripper. Um, All right. Save your money. Okay. And be a stripper. Oh, uh, dude. Can you give some type of financial advice or like investments or things like that that you could share with people? Save your money. It would be smart. Okay. That's really all I've got. What do you do with it? What do you do once you saved up your money? Like, how long should you save it for? Probably save it for around three years, probably. Okay. What do you do for a living? I act. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, good luck. Uh, good luck to you too. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, I'm I'm making a video right now. I'm asking people what their best piece of advice is. Uh, most of it's financially related, but if you could give me your best piece of advice to my viewers that are watching the video, uh, what would that advice be? Don't get rid of your money too fast. Oh, don't get rid of it too fast? Be Mr. Pinch Penny. Yeah, be a little penny pincher. <laughs> penny pincher. Yeah, don't overpay for utility bill, that's right. No, just don't pay them. Oh, don't pay utility bills. <laughs> trees you live under the trees yes there you go pinch pennies and live in go. trees that's all there is to it all right thank you so much hey in under 30 seconds give me your best piece of advice for people in their 20s <laughs> why is life a life a tough battle uh, well you'll see when you have to start living it yeah what makes what makes life so tough what makes life so tough for everybody? Come on, really? You must not pay for shit. Oh, money. Oh, oh, oh yeah. So let me ask you this: What's your best piece of financial advice then? So you don't, don't... invest in the stock market. <laughs> don't in, don't invest in the stock market. Yeah. Buy some silver or gold. Silver and gold. All right, that's interesting. I've asked quite a few people, and uh, that's real, buddy. I haven't heard this one yet. Silver and gold. So the see. market cut a crash. They're just waiting. See, when they want to usher in the the digital dollar. They're going to crash the market. So anybody's telling you to play the stock market, that's because they're probably invested in the stock market. It's like a big Ponzi scheme. Yeah, tell people to invest in the market because if you're in the market, then you make a little bit more money. So you prefer the gold and silver investments? That's the only, no, not investments, hard gold and silver in your hand. If you can't get it in your hand, it ain't worth buying. That'd still be considered an investment, though, because it's an asset and yeah, an appreciation. Yeah, but if you could buy gold and silver stocks, that don't mean you're ever going to see gold or silver. And if the market crashes... Oh, correct. No, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Physical gold and silver. Perfect. Thanks, man, for the advice. <laughs> see ya. All right, we got gold and silver. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of gold and silver. I mean, yeah, it's great to have something that's physical. However, gold and silver don't tend to appreciate a whole lot. It's more of like a protective asset. Yo. Yo, man. What kind of advice do you have that people should be doing with their money going into 2023? Um, okay. Nice to accept this interview. 
So, first of all, <laughs> so I'm a student, so I didn't do any investment, you know. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. But I read a lot of magazines and I have some opinions on that. Okay. So, yeah. I think, I think our future should go ahead, you know, go towards the, you know, the AI technology, such as Iron Mask, what they do is uh, like the, uh, like the vehicles. We should I uh, should pay more attention on that I think yeah so you, you think that'd probably be a good investment like like learning new skills that involve AI and maybe investing into AI yeah yeah that exactly because I'm also you know my major is about the technologies about a computer cool you come here oh my gosh <laughs> are you in the US no I'm in China actually you're in China okay yeah yeah, you're in United States, right? Yeah. Have a good Thanks. day. Oh, six. You too. Going into 2023, what's your best piece of financial advice you could give to someone? My financial advice into 2023 to somebody, I don't know if it's a dude, my friend, or girl, or whoever it is. Anyone. Uh, my financial advice is... <laughs> I don't, I don't really have financial advice. I'm not, I mean, I, I save my money. There you go. I, work, I just work, save my money. What do you buy with I, your, what do you buy with your money? I love spending money. Spending money is my favorite thing to do. Yeah. What do you spend your money on? I spend a lot of money at the bar. I have a lot of hobbies. I skateboard, I snowboard. So I spend a lot of money on snowboarding and snowboarding season. Uh, I quit spending money on clothes because I got robbed one time. Really? Dude, I had a $45,000 collection of Jordans and I got robbed. Why am I going to work hard and spend the money that I worked hard for on things that other people want more than I do? So do you find yourself saving a little bit more money now or are you just spending it as soon as you get it to put into like hobbies and things like that, that the money kind of goes away? You pay for more of experiences versus like materialistic items. Thanks for the advice. I got Kirkland vodka. <laughs> Hey. Hey. What kind of things do you know about money that you could share with me and to the people who watch my channel um, so we can get a piece of advice? Buy Bitcoin. Buy Bitcoin? All right. Anything else? Just Bitcoin? Any other cryptocurrencies? Um, make sure it's Bitcoin Cash, okay? Do you know who Roger Veer is? No, I don't. Okay, look up Roger V-E-R. He's got tons of you. He started Bitcoin. And then there was a civil war within Bitcoin, how it should go. And he didn't like the way it was going, so he broke away. And uh, he has now started Bitcoin Cash, which is more of a money transfer system. You should uh, definitely look into Roger. He's a fascinating guy. Thanks for the advice. Have a good day. I'm just asking people questions. What's the best piece of financial advice you can give to someone going into 2023? I'm broke. Okay. Is there something you know you need to be doing to not be broke? No. <laughs> hey, I'm doing a YouTube video. I'm asking people what their best piece of financial advice is. Can you give me some advice for people who are looking to do something with their money? That's a tough one. I guess financial advice would depend on what you think is important in life. It's a good piece of advice, actually. Money has never been my motivation for anything. Life is very short, no matter how long you think it's going to be. My best advice is just have a good time no matter what. That's more important. That's good. Thanks for the advice, man. Have a good day.